From the site that many call the loudest in the NFL, we are inside Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. The scene just a few moments ago, predictably loud and raucous here at Arrowhead as their beloved Chiefs took field, and they are set to match up with the Dallas Cowboys. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. toss and not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20 two yards on the carry there it'll be second down they tried a quick hitter inside but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up it'll go as a gain of 10 and a kansas city first down well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. Ware takes the give from Mahomes. He works his way forward for a couple up past the 30. Well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. Now they'll throw with Mahomes. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Dancing to his left. He can run for it, and he will. Five yards that time out of the scramble. But now they're looking at a fourth down situation. I like his effort there. He got it done on his own. But let's face it, he puts defenses in a really stressful spot when he takes off and runs because a lot of guys have coverage responsibilities. Good job of rallying, though, because I thought when he first took off, he might pick up the first down. some indecision on getting the punt team out there and they're going to get a delay so that'll back them up five Fourth down on is Dustin Colquitt to kick this away. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at the 20. Throwing. Prescott fighting his safety valve here. That's complete. And they'll get him down here at the 23. Call it a gain of three, and it'll be a second down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. 
Prescott now on second down. And he'll hit the slant route. That's caught by Cooper. Powering his way forward. And he takes it all the way down to the 32. A big play here for the Cowboys. 45 yards. A first down throw for Prescott. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. Justin Houston coming hard on the blitz. He dumps him for a loss of eight. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Looking to throw, Prescott, flush to his right. Wide open, Amari Cooper. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. And a nice gain of 21 yards. The first opportunity in the red zone for the Cowboys. First and 10 at the 19. From the red zone now, Prescott. And he is gonna go down, they sack him on the final play of the first quarter. Sitting alongside Charles Day. Football to begin quarter number two, but they face a second and long to start things out. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. And now the passing game here in the second quarter starting to heat up a little bit. Don't you feel the rhythm starting? To... And the Chiefs are going to get him. Justin Houston in there to get him. His second sack now of the afternoon. Well, this has been a pretty sizable drive. They've had some success. Finally, the defensive coordinator found some success of his own. I think he just simply said enough of that. Okay, they've moved the ball well. We need to force the issue from our end, and that's exactly what he did. Prescott to throw on four. And this is caught. Amari Cooper. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Amari Cooper, 26 yards. And the Cowboys are in for six. Extra point forthcoming. Extra point, hugged the upright a bit, but he gets it to go. And that makes the score 7-0. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Chiefs coming back onto the field, as we noted earlier, going to take on the Colts this weekend. 12-4 and four in the regular season. You get the first round by number one offense in the NFL. That's the good part, but the defense has left something to be desired. Yeah, they rank 31st. That's just one step from the bottom in terms of total defense in the NFL. But they do rush the passer very well. Tied for the league lead in sacks. Their thing is, can they get a couple of key takeaways and just give the ball back to Mahomes and win a lot of shootouts? They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. And it's intercepted. Cheetah Bay Awuzie with a pick. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. Watkins, the intended receiver. Well, they didn't exactly show patience there, did they? 
just down a score. They come out firing right away and compound things by throwing an interception. They put their defense in a really tough spot. Following the interception, here's Prescott. Now he'll let it go deep right side. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Two first-half touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys will extend their lead. Well, what a quick turnaround there. They get the football. Next play, boom, touchdown. I've been in a situation before where a turnover occurs, and if you're over on the bench with your defensive mate and you talk about what to do on your next series, and all of a sudden you hear sudden change, you've got to get out on the field and defend right away. Not everyone is mentally prepared to go. Is that what is yelled on the sidelines a lot of times? That, among other things. <laughs> Maybe some words we can't share here. Yeah, we'll, we'll just keep this one PG. FCC violation. No doubt. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And out come the Chiefs now. And this is a unit that, to be frank, doesn't look like they've woken up yet. I mean, a punt and a turnover on their first two drives. And I think the game's starting to take shape a little bit now. And I'm going to take it into the basketball world. When you're having trouble scoring or moving the ball in basketball, what do they do? Get it to their best player, right? Find a matchup. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Demarcus Lawrence in there to bury him for a loss of 11. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. Now they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. Mahomes now to throw. Hey, right on cue. They set up the screen and complete it. And able to get it here to about the 16-yard line. So the screen good for only two. Now it's third down. Third and long, it's Mahomes. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete, taken down. First target, first catch, and a first down. Two minutes to go here in the first half. We're back to Arrowhead after this. So from the 36 now, first and 10. On first down, Mahomes, and he will go down. Cowboys sack. Tyrone Crawford in there to drop him, and it'll be a loss of about eight. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. From the gun on third down, the homes. And that is incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. Here's Dustin Colquitt now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. That's taken on the 25. A good return there, 17 yards. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. The Dallas Cowboys so good at home this year. 7-1 during the regular season. That helped earn them the NFC East title. So they come home. They beat Seattle. Now, though, they go on the road for a much tougher test. It is indeed a much tougher test. The Los Angeles Rams, a defensive front led by Aaron Donald, who many think could be the MVP of the league this season. And since 1990... And a big loss here as he's taken down. Chris Jones... In there to get him for what will be a loss of 13 yards. Here we go, 46. 46. A second down throw for Prescott. 
Running one fly deep for Cooper. Oh, and this ball's tipped and intercepted. Picked off by the safety here, Ron Parker. And they are going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. That late in the clock, second quarter, why not just run it a time or two and get it into the locker room? What you're saying makes absolutely perfect sense. Run it and get out. And the high-powered offenses that you're facing may have forced them into saying, let's try and get some more points. And he's got his receiver. That's Sammy Watkins. And they work this well upfield across the 45. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Mahomes now on first down. Looking left side for Watkins and he's got it. Kansas City touchdown. Sammy Watkins as the first half is winding down. And the Chiefs strike quickly here for six points. The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing, but a good sign. That takes me back to our preseason tour of NFL camps. You remember we, we talked with that one coach who said his emphasis this year was scoring in the last two minutes yep. of a half, heading into the locker room? This hits it right there. Take that momentum, take that good feeling, and take it to the locker room, regroup, and start over. They got it here. They did indeed. And a lot of football, full half to be played. Now the Cowboys offense heads back onto the field. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. Second down, Elliott. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Fielded about a yard deep. And Tavon He's going to go. The 30. 10. And he will score. Touchdown, Cowboys. Tavon Austin will add on to their lead. Now whistles and a timeout signaled here by the offense, and that's their first of this second half. The call is to go for one and kick the extra point. And it's no good. It has not been his day. That's the second extra point he's missed so far. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. So Dak will bring the Cowboys up to go for the two-point try. They're going to try and run. And that one covered beautifully. Their defenders stayed home, and they'll stop him behind the line. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. 
And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But, but this is a do that? I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for him. He's got his man on the crossing route. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 15 yards on that one. Kansas City has a first down. Now they'll run it on the toss. A beautiful spin and room to run. He's got daylight. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Spencer Ware, 59 yards. And the Chiefs are able to get this back within a touchdown. Point after, right down the middle. And this is back to a five-point game. Butker now to kick this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out to the 27. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 27. They'll try and get the running game going with Elliott. And he stopped immediately there. The All-Pro Justin Houston in on the tackle. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Second down, Prescott. Austin's got it left side. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. The reception good for seven. It's third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the... And he's taken down, a Chiefs sack. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. On fourth, they do snap it to Prescott. Being chased out left. Now he's going to send this one deep right side. And this is going to be incomplete. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And the Chiefs will have the football back in excellent field position. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. <laughs> Mahomes now on first down. 29, Tyrone Crawford in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. To throw, it's Mahomes. They'll roll him out right. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Jalen Smith in there to drop him, and sacks on first and second downs are going to lead to a third and long. Going to need better protection here. Third and long following the sack for Mahomes and company. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Able to pick up a dozen yards, but they needed more. Fourth down. Well, partner, nothing comes open here, so he decides to escape out of there, and he doesn't pick up a first down, but he does gain additional yardage to set up a possible field goal attempt if they decide to go that route. Mike 
Mahomes going to go on fourth down. Flushed out right. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Jalen Smith in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon. So they'll trudge off the field with a bitter taste in their mouths after that failed fourth down conversion. Yeah, there would be a lot of analysis there on the sidelines. Was it the right call? Was it, the, was it against the right defense? Should they have even gone for it at all? Will that change what they do going forward in this game? A lot of questions to be answered by them. The defense doesn't really care. They're like, bring it on again. We'll stop you the next time, too. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Again, it's Elliott. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. We're back now in KC. It's the Cowboys with the football. They'll be looking to tack on to their lead as we get set for the fourth. been a tough one for this offensive line it appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game the way they've been pushed around six sacks given up in this one and he's gonna go down back at his own five yard line it's a sack chris jones getting him once again his third sack of the afternoon Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. They'll come out in the pistol. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. Second and goal from the six this time. Now Mahomes. In trouble and he'll go down back at the 12. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. Going to need better protection here. Third and long following the sack from Mahomes and company. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And he's going to go down again. Jalen Smith able to disrupt yet another pass play. His third sack of the afternoon. Likely the play of the game here, trailing in the final quarter and going for it on fourth and goal. Now Mahomes got to have this one. And no, it's incomplete. They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt, and the Cowboys' defense is going to get them the football back. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 18. Here's Prescott. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Austin. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. A very solid gain of 27. Here we go, 
46. Switch. Switch and A. First down, Prescott completes it to Austin. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. Prescott now on second down. It's complete to Brown, right side. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. First target, first catch, and a first down. Time for a break. We're back to see what happens after this. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They'll try and run this with Austin. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. It's a five-yard game, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Now. Here we go, 46, 46. 26. Prescott. Throw left side complete. That's Austin. Touchdown, Cowboys. Tavon Austin. A touchdown on a kick return and now one through the air. And the Cowboys will extend their lead. Well, it'd be real easy to say that they are firmly in control right now, but I'm looking at your face and I'm thinking I've got to be careful with that. Well, it's a two-score game. You're inside of two minutes. I think you can breathe relatively easily now. Yeah, you can, but still, you got to stay vigilant. Can't give up anything cheap and easy. That could put you in some jeopardy. The point after it is full. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And now here comes Kansas City. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave them great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down caused, all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. Mm. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. <laughs> so now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And that is incomplete. His favorite target, Travis Kelsey, the intended receiver. And it's third down. Tried to go for the big one there on second down. Now they're likely down to their final two plays. And you know they've got to keep going for the big shot, right? So defensively, you play what they call top down. Nothing behind you. Make everything get completed in front. Throwing his Mahomes on third. He's going to let it fly. He's got a man complete. A big play there, Mahomes to Watkins. 48 yards. First down now, but that clock rolling. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. And he's going to be grabbed and pulled down. Tyrone Crawford in there to drop him as the clock continues to roll. Exactly what they were looking for. They've been giving up yardage. They've been letting them drive right downfield. But they got a sack right there. How about that for a little bit of revenge? Eluding the pressure right. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. So the long attempt falls innocently to the ground, and it brings up third. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. The Chiefs on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and 17. Throwing now is Mahomes, and he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Like that, 
it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. Looked like I-4 at rush hour in your hometown of Orlando, Florida. An absolute mess. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Buying time to his left. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and it would appear the Cowboys are going to win this football game. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about slim and none? Well, Slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. They're down to none. Yes, exactly right. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And he's across the 43 extra yards to the 43. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. A road win in the National Football League. Charles, you never take that for granted no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you prime the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. From Kansas City, so long, everybody.